Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code with Pippa. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the first problem set of CS50. Basically, I'm making this video to kind of tell you how to use the code space of CS50 and how to log in in the code space, how to set up the code space and how to log in. And then I'll also do the problem set Hello World. That is a very simple problem set, but I just want to share how to use the ID correctly. So that is why I'm making this video. So first of all, you have to go to the cs50 website and click on problem set one from week one after that you just have to click on this link submit.cs50.io and you have to authorize cs50 just like i'm doing right now so that the cs50 has access to your github account now next you come back to the cs50 website and you click on cs50.dev and from here you can log in now again you have to authorize cs50 over here as well so that you can use the code space properly please follow each and every step very clearly in the same manner as i am doing because if you miss a single step then you won't be able to use the code space properly after you do this you will get the screen your code space is being set right now and this could take some time so have some patience and keep waiting now you can see this welcome video and you can close this welcome video because it is not really required now before doing anything first of all in your terminal you have to run a command after the dollar sign you have to write update 50 now this is very important to ensure that your code space is up to date otherwise you might face problems later and i would recommend that every time you use this code space first command you should run is update 50 so that your code space runs properly you can choose your color theme from the welcome window as you wish and you can just close this welcome window and then just run this command update 50 don't forget to put the dollar sign the dollar sign should come automatically after you run this command update 50 in your terminal this kind of box might come on your screen you have to select full rebuild so that your code space can be rebuilt properly now again this is going to take some time so please have some patience and wait so that your code space is updated properly now after this is done your code space after it is ready first of all use the command cd to change the directory if you are if you are in any other directory then it will be changed back to normal after you run the cd command you have to make a directory called world so for that we are going to write the command mkdir world in the terminal so this will make a folder world over here as you can see after this you have to write the command cd world so that you change the directory to world so now you can see the prompt has changed now the prompt is not just a dollar sign but world and then a dollar sign now once your prompt has changed in this you have to write code hello.c so that we can make a file from the name hello.c now you can see over here uh, in the explorer as well that in the world folder you have a file hello.c and in the text editor above your hello.c file is opened now in this file we have to write our program so that we can print hello world on the screen so let's write our first c program for this we are going to include the basic libraries of c this is the most basic and first step whenever you are writing a pro any program in c this is the first step that you have to follow we have to include the standard library of c which is include and to do that we are going to write this command hashtag include standard io.h and we are also going to include the cs50 library although we don't really have a use of this library right now but we will just include it anyway hashtag include cs50.h now after we have included these basic header files we will start writing our program and to write our program we first have to write this line and main void this is basically like clicking the green flag in scratch and this just indicates that the program has started and the main body of the program will be included in these early brackets so, so our purpose for writing this program is that we have to print hello world on the screen so to print anything we will use the command printf which is basically like say in scratch if you remember so we are going to write printf and within the brackets we will write hello world in double quotes and after writing hello world i'm also going to include backslash n so that after writing hello world the cursor moves to the next line now this is going to be the syntax of the hello world statement 
and this is our complete program that's it don't forget to include the semicolon at the end of the end of statement otherwise you are going to get some syntax errors after you've written this this is the complete program so to compile this program we are going to write this command in the terminal make hello so since we didn't get any problems or anything and we got the world dollar sign prompt once again it means that the program has compiled successfully and there are no errors in our program so now to execute this program we are just going to write dot slash hello and that's it you can see hello world on your screen the program has run successfully and you have written your first program in c so this was the problem statement one hello world now if you want to check whether you have done the program correctly you can copy this check 50 command from the c CS50 website, you just have to copy it and paste this command in the terminal. And as soon as you will do this, you will get this kind of connecting, authenticating. These few lines will come up like verifying, preparing. It's going to take a few seconds and then you will get this kind of a result. You can see all the green smileys that hello.c exists compiles properly and it prints hello world properly if you get all these three green smiley statements that means that your program has run correctly and you have done it correctly so congratulations on writing your first cs50 program successfully you can also join me on this coding journey i'm a beginner just like you and i'm learning to code right now so you can join me on this journey subscribe to this channel like this video and comment till then see you next time